I'm struggling with an intro, so let's just get straight to it. I've been reviewing Mikey V's hot sauces. They're really freaking good. He sent me a lot. I couldn't decide what to review today. I went to a group that I'm a part of in Facebook. It's called For the Love of Hot Sauce. It's like the biggest uh, hot sauce group on Facebook. And I was like, help me please, I can't decide. And I'm really, I'm, I'm here to say that while, I'm here to say that that was useless. Uh, these guys are so popular and so good that like every sauce he's ever made got equal votes. Uh, so like I had like four people say Sam's sauce is amazing. I had four people say you need to try the pickles. I had four people say you need to try this one right here, that one right there. It was like overwhelming. So uh, I don't have anything planned as always, except for this delicious, delightful, delectable lunch right here that I thought would pair well with one of his sauces. Cause if nothing else, if this tastes like shit, at least it can be spicy. That's the hope anyway. So while that cooks, let's pick a sauce and talk about it. It actually looks kind of fancy and fresh. So while that cooks for four and a half minutes, let's talk about Mikey V. Mikey V is a small batch sauce maker out of Georgetown, Texas. Not only does he make his own sauces, but he touts other people's sauces as well, which I absolutely love. He supports his business while supporting other people's small business. And I love a team player, let me tell you. So anyway, talking about this guy, he has an incredible reputation, not only for making awesome sauces, but being an awesome guy. So shout out to being a good human, Mikey V. We all appreciate you and need more of that in the world. Onto the sauces, uh, I got to thinking about it. These are the four that people say are like top notch, they're favies. Now I'm trying to think of what's gonna pair well with this like power protein bowl thing that I've got. First, I wanted to go with sweet ghost pepper. I was told that this sauce is so delicious, it could be drank straight from the bottle, but I don't know if that's gonna go well with all the red peppers and the Cuban style pork in that. So we're gonna save you for a later time. Uh, uh, Next was the spicy Reaper pickles. I gotta say, I'm like incredibly excited for this. This was a real high ranking one too, but it's not gonna go well in that pre-made food. So we're gonna save that as a review for another time. So it's kind of down to these guys. And these are the ones that I'm really struggling with. Okay, so we got two and a half minutes before my food goes off. We've got the friendly Sam sauce, which is highly ranked. And then we've got the, the garlic scorpion hot sauce. So if that stuff tastes bad, and this doesn't compliment how bad that is, at least it can be so spicy, I don't care. And then this sauce is a Verde sauce. It's a delicious sauce. You know how I feel about my Verdes. And from what I've been told, this sauce, Sam sauce, is better than any Verde sauce ever. And I find that really hard to believe, but I'm willing to believe it. Hashtag Verde Wars. So, I don't know how to get. All right, let's just close our eyes. And I don't know how to get you to believe that I don't know which is what because I can't decide. There's a part of me, I want to do the garlic scorpion. Should I do the garlic scorpion? I can't make a decision. I hate this. My therapist says it's a trauma response, which is probably really true. Just decide which one do you want to do. You want spicy? Do you want tasty? Do you want spicy? Do you want tasty? I think I'm going to go with the scorpion. <laughs> Let's see what this is all about. I think I need some spice today. Let's do this. Garlic scorpion. Welcome to the world of flavor. Here's a hot sauce that I created combining fresh garlic with scorpion peppers. It's a flavorful sauce that has some bite. Try it now, you'll be glad you did. Use it on eggs, tacos, burritos, chicken, pork, and beef, enjoy. We'd love to know how you used it on your food. So go to hashtag Mikey V's garlic scorpion or hashtag Mikey V's food. Me, I'm just gonna make a review of it, post it on YouTube and all over Facebook. <laughs> That's how I show my love. Ingredients are tomatoes, water, white vinegar, onions, tomato puree, fresh garlic, scorpion peppers, kosher salt, jalapeno peppers, olive oil, spices. That's a lot of peppers. That sounds like it's going to be really hot. It's garlic flavored fire. Mmm. <laughs> okay. Let's see how the scorpion stings. As a... Food's ready. There she be. It's super hot right now. And not like hot and spicy hot, but like that kind of hot. Okay, we're gonna let that cool. We're gonna let that cool off for a second. Okay, I'm gonna. Ow. I bet I never do. I bet I never do. Okay, so 
a few things that I like to do here on my channel. If you like goofy reviews and hearing about all the hot and spicy products and small businesses that are out there, please hit that subscribe button. I'm really trying to grow my follower count. One of these days, you never know what it could lead into. Maybe she has something in mind. Who knows? Will she be the next YouTube sensation? Probably not. But she does have something up her sleeve. And I will tell you about that in due time. So please, until then, just subscribe to the channel. Share this with some of your friends. I love this. Promote small business and help promote my sanity and self-worth. Love me in ways that my, my mother couldn't. Thanks! Okay, so we're going to let that cool off for a little bit. And while we are, we're going to talk more about scorpion, garlic scorpion. Okay, so where were we? It looks pretty. It looks painful. It looks well blended. Again, it's really, I do not know Mikey V personally. However, in the time that I've been in the hot sauce community, I know of Mikey V. And once I started posting that I was doing reviews for Mikey V, so many people come out of the woodwork talking about how amazing the sauces are and how amazing the saucer is. And I can't shout that out enough. That's a huge deal. So I'm really excited. Let's see what this is all about. First thing I notice about Mikey V, all of his sauce seals are perforated like this. Nope, not that one. Yes, that one. Or done like that. Like usually you have to down the side, but that one, you have to crack the seal. And the reason I'm showing you that I crack the seal is I always do blind taste tests because I'm never going to slam a saucer because taste is subjective and I support everybody. Just because I don't like it doesn't mean you don't like it. But I do blind taste tests so you know I haven't come up with an entire pitch before you see me review it. A lot of times my uh, RBF gives me away. So, I'm going to try and be as honest as I can. Oh my gosh. That smells sweet. That smells like sweet and definitely garlicky. I love garlic. That's a lot of the reason I love Verde sauces so much. I love that fresh gardeny like aroma. Oh yeah. <coughs> it smells like garlic. It smells like peppers. And as I smell it, it starts to hit me in the back of the throat, trying to choke very life out of my soul. Mikey V, you might be a friendly person, but your sauces, sir, I fear, may not be as friendly. All right, I'll shut up. So, beautiful sauce, very well blended. Oh, a gorgeous pour. Yes, that is nice, thick, even, well blended, nicely mixed, beautiful. Here we go. That is great flavor. That is spicy. Oh, God. Oh, but I love it. Mmm. We might have hiccups. Hold on a second. Ooh. Ooh. Ow. Yes. For real. Ah. I always do this on an empty stomach. Ow. Stomach, and that's what happens. Oh, my God. Ow. That is an explosion of garlic. That is the most garlicky garlic sauce I've ever had. The tomatoes are amazing. Nice and sweet. Super spicy, super garlicky, super fresh. I love Verde sauces because they have that garden fresh punch. That is garden fresh, but it's also like tomatoey and garlicky, and it gives me Italian vibes, but not entirely. Oh my gosh. That is my favorite Mikey V sauce so far that I've reviewed. Oh my gosh. Ooh, this reminds me a little bit of Revolutionary from Hotheads Official, but only because it gives me like Italian um, marinara sauce vibes, but just a little bit, which Revolutionary, by the way, is now in the lineup of Hot Ones, which is really awesome. This is, it reminds me of that sauce. It's got a great burn, awesome garlic flavor. Uh, yeah, the, the garlic comes through a lot more. Ooh, that burn is like, it's up there. That's an up there burn. But all of it, all of it is like, ooh, extreme, but complimentary, delicious, pleasing. Mikey V. My lips are burning, my tongue is on fire, and I don't care. Wow, that, I'm going to regret this, but I don't care. This is what I love. Sauces that, like, it's spicy. Don't get me wrong. It's spicy. But you are willing to take the heat. Mm. This is like a toxic relationship. No matter how bad that boy is, you just can't leave him. You just have to keep going back for more. That's that sauce. That's that sauce. Let's see how it does with this. Hot. 
Oh gosh. So I really like to review sauces before putting them on food, but I do recommend putting them on food. Uh, they taste different once they're put on food. <clears throat> on that thing is spicy. So, yeah, just a whoo. If I had to give it a scale, it's a scale of like one to ten. That's an eight point five. No, like, mm, don't say that. Seven, maybe. I'm trying not to be too extra. It's a seven point five. Mm-hmm. Oh no. This is really earthy. This needs this. Sometimes a bee's like that, you know? Mikey B, thank you so much. My nose is running. My endorphins are kicking in. My mood is lightened. My day is better. I am now in love with that sauce. That is a top high ranking sauce. That garlic is an explosion in your face. It needed that. This needed this. That's a hot sauce. That's a good one. Not too much, just enough. Yeah, that's really, really good. God, Mikey V, you are good at what you do, sir. Thank you so much for sending this to me. I will definitely enjoy that. That's awesome. If you're interested in getting some hands, uh, getting your hands on some of your own Mikey V's, do me a favor, go to tastingtheheat.com and check out some of his sauces. I'll put all the information down in the description as well. Mikey V, thanks for sending this to me as always. Thanks for joining me. I'm gonna go eat my lunch now. This totally saved a TV dinner and I really appreciate that. So God bless y'all, take care.